If you guys want to make this typing animation in HTML, I'm going to show you how to implement it in your website today. This active typing effect is a very cool thing to have in your website. It gives a little bit more flair and it makes the website feel a lot more alive and dynamic rather than static. So today I'm going to show you guys how to implement it and show you some of the different options and parameters that you guys can use. So hopping into Visual Studio Code, the first thing that we're going to do is create a new file and it's going to be index.html. I'm going to save it to a new folder and all of your website contents should be in the same directory as your HTML file. First, we're going to do an exclamation point, And if you press enter, it's going to autofill with a doc type HTML. So this is a very basic website. And if you guys don't already have it, go to your extensions. In extensions, you want to look for live server and you want to install this guy right here. This is going to make live updates to your website very easy to see. Once you have that installed, we can go over to our HTML file and we can well, let's first save. And once you have saved your website, you can go to go live and it's going to pull up a browser. And here is your website page. Obviously it's blank because we haven't added anything, but let's get into that now. Along with an index.html file, we are also going to be creating a style.css. And this is going to be our style sheet. To link it to our HTML file, what we can do is we can go in our body and we can do link. And inside the same brackets that the word link is in, we're going to do rel for relate style sheet and then href is going to be the name of our style sheet so we could do href equals style.css there we go after we've imported our style sheet what we can do is import the library that we are going to use for the typing effect at the end of your body so you can have other html elements right here but at the end of your body you want to make sure it's at the end you're going to put script let me silence my phone you're going to do script source equals and then you're going to want to paste this source in and i'm going to have it in the description so you could just copy it from the description and then you want to close it off so it has the ending script as well now that we have this source in we can actually start writing javascript to display this typing effect first what we're going to do is create an html element so i'm going to do span and i'll do id equals uh tutorial now here's the issue that i've ran into with making this typing animation you're probably running into it as well if you're using an external javascript file and importing the code that way as in writing it in another file and then linking it to your html file i think the javascript is loaded before the doc type is actually finished there is a way around it but just for the sake of the tutorial i'm going to put it in my html file since it is an imported library this is the only javascript code that i found hasn't been able to work in an external uh, javascript file but theoretically you'd also have an external javascript file if you are making a website for your animations for your functions for this though we are just going to do a script and then within the script we're going to do var typed equals new typed make sure that the second typed is capital as so a set of parentheses and then we are also going to have a set of brackets like this a set of brackets inside of the parentheses before the brackets though we are going to put the name of our id so our id is tutorial so we are going to put hashtag tutorial hashtags are for ids and dots are for classes if it was class equals tutorial we put dot tutorial open up the brackets as so and we are in our typed function or constructor actually this is a typed constructor i'm gonna put strings colon and then square brackets and this is our arguments for the strings that it can use for the typing animation so we're gonna say youtube is one of our options is just gonna say awesome. Um, one of our options is going to say old school. And then one of our options is gonna say innovative. YouTube, if you're watching this, you know, hire me. After this, we're going to put a comma as so. You wanna put commas after everything. These are basically just arguments inside of the constructor. You have to differentiate them with commas. I'm gonna do typed speed and I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do 40. The lower your typed speed, the faster it is. So if I did 10, it would be very zippy. And then if I did 200, it would be a lot longer. I'm guessing it's some sort of interval between the letters. We're gonna do back speed, also 40. This is how fast it backspaces the text. Back delay is a really cool one to have because it allows the text to be there for a minute before it backspaces and puts the next option in. So if we have back delay 400, it's going to pause for 400 milliseconds before going to old school. It's gonna show old school for 400 milliseconds and then it's going to backspace and do innovative. I'll make it a little bit longer actually just to really emphasize it. 1200, which is one second and 200 milliseconds. Show cursor just shows the cursor, true. And then here's like a little added tidbit. If you want to take off the cursor after you are done with the completion of the animation, you can do on complete function. And then in these brackets, you can do show cursor false. 
So we should have that squared away. Let's add some style.css stuff real quick. So um, in here, I'm gonna put hashtag tutorial and I'm just gonna make our font size, I don't know, like four rim, super big. In this h2 tag, we'll do another ID and we'll just say, this is our start. And I just wanna make this color white. And since these two are kind of in conjunction, we want them to be centered together. So I'm just gonna make a div class instead like this, put all this jumbo in it, and we'll do class equals container. Div classes are not necessarily elements, but they're just housings for elements, and they give all the elements the attribute inside of their own class. So we can actually take this center align out, text align, like so, center. Cool, cool beans. Let's check out our website. Well, I just checked out the website and YouTube isn't showing <laughs> because it's white on white. So in our body, I'm just going to do style, uh, background color, black. If we load our website and I'm going to save and then I'll show you guys right when it's executing. We have YouTube is awesome. YouTube is old school and YouTube is innovative. Now, the one thing that I don't like is that this is so fast. So let's make this uh, a little bit slower. And let's also make the delay like three seconds so we can just really see what's going on. I messed up. It's not typed speed, it's just type speed. That's why the numbers aren't affecting anything. Now we have it very slow. Yeah, YouTube is awesome. It's gonna go back. YouTube is old school. And then it's gonna go back. YouTube is innovative. So that's the thing with uh, these like third party libraries, um, not something that is standard library. You have to be very careful with the given methods and variables that they give you. So type speed is a variable, but I had it typed with a D, it's type speed. So make sure that all the spelling is correct and then make sure your capitalization is correct too because if I did type speed like that, it would not work. So it's gotta be capital, it's gotta be consistent. So I'm going to include the original documentation for this library down in the description below. You guys can check that out as well as I'll just include the um, library URL, library, library URL for easy to access as well. I hope you guys really enjoyed today's tutorial. I hope you guys learned something today and happy programming. Go implement this. Check out the documentation if you have any questions. There are also a couple Stack Overflow questions that might be helpful as well. But if you have any questions, let me know and I'll try to assist you as best as possible. That's why I'm here. Have a great day, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.